Hello, and welcome to the Hapag Lloyd North America Digital Channel. My name is Dre Avalos, and today I'm going to walk you through how to troubleshoot some common issues you may experience with our EASI or online shipping instruction tool by configuring your browser and system settings. So starting from the Hapag Lloyd homepage, uh, on your left hand side, you're going to go down to documentation, you're going to open up that drop down, and you're going to select shipping instructions. And that will take you to our EASI tool, our electronic advanced shipping instruction tool, or our online shipping instruction tool. So what you'll see below is a list of shipments that are eligible to have their SI submitted. So we're going to go ahead and just select one right from the, the top of the list and then hit download new form. All right, so you'll notice that our document did not open and not just that, but in this top right corner, uh, the pop up was blocked. So one of the first issues that you may experience is that you have pop ups blocked for our website. So what you can do is you can click the logo and then allow then select done. And once you do that, pop-ups will no longer be blocked. So you'll just need to reopen the SI tool. So I'm going to scroll down. The same one is selected. We're going to hit download new form. All right. And here we have our EASI document, which is a PDF document. I'm going to go ahead and uh, zoom in a little there. Um, so one of the first things that you want to pay attention to when you open up one of these documents to give you a clue as to whether or not you've opened it correctly is as to whether or not there are uh, red outlines around the mandatory fields. In this case, there are no red outlines and also there is no information pre-filled. Normally you would see a uh, shipment number, uh, the vessel and voyage information, POL and POD as well. So the reason that this document, if you fill it out and submit it, will not go through is that it has opened up under the built in PDF viewer. So in order to remedy this, we're going to change our default PDF viewer. So what we're going to do is close this document. And then in the taskbar, we're going to go down into that search field. And we're going to type default apps. Um, you may not need to type the whole word. So mine showed up at DEFA. I'm going to go ahead and select default apps. Once the application opens uh, or the settings open, scroll down and click choose default apps by file type. All right. And what we're looking at now is a list of all the file types and their default application. Uh, we're going to go ahead and scroll down. It is an file types are in alphabetical order. So we're going to find PDF. And here we are. So for .PDF, you'll see that Microsoft Edge is actually our default PDF viewer. And we want to change that. So we're going to click on that and then select Adobe Acrobat. And then we're going to go ahead and close that. One thing to note is that our uh, EASI document is only compatible with Acrobat. So if you're using any other PDF viewer, you're likely to experience errors. Always use Adobe when opening up our EASI tool. So now what we're going to do is try to reopen that. So the same um, SI is selected and we're going to click download new form. All right. And now since Adobe is our default PDF viewer, you'll see that it has downloaded and you'll see the Adobe logo. So we're going to click open file. And then you'll see our EASI tool along with the mandatory fields outlined in red. Another thing to note is that you'll see Adobe Acrobat in the top along with the logo showing you that it has opened up correctly. In the event that your EASI tool doesn't open or it does open in Microsoft Edge again, it may be that you have your PDF settings open or to open in the last opened viewer. So in order to remedy that, you would go to your browser settings uh, by hitting the ellipses in the top right corner, going down to settings, 
and then selecting cookies and site permissions and scrolling down to PDF. So PDF documents. As you can see, I have it set to always download PDF files and for PDF view settings, I have open PDFs to the last viewed location when you reopen files turned off. By default, you'll see that the settings are reversed. If this is what your settings look like, you'll find that anytime you open up a PDF document from the browser, it'll reopen in Microsoft Edge. So make sure you have always download PDF files turned on and PDF view settings uh, toggled off. Another issue that you may run into is with your downloads. So if you have your downloads configured incorrectly, that could cause an issue. So we're going to go and look at what your download settings should look like. So right in the top left, right from cookies and site permissions, we're going to uh, navigate to downloads. And you do want to have ask me what to do with each download turned on. You want open office files in browser turned off or else you'll find yourself at the Microsoft Edge PDF viewer again. And then show downloads menu uh, when a download starts doesn't need to be uh, turned on. All right, so a third issue that you may experience is if your firewall settings are not properly configured or Hypag Lloyd isn't allowed through, then what will happen is that it will block the download. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that now. I've connected to a network that will block the SI tool. So let me scroll down. I'm going to open up that same document. And as you can see, it's looking for a potential risk and it has ultimately blocked that download and it will take us to this screen. Uh, this error and this verbiage will also be seen or will also populate the screen if you lose network connection at some point throughout your download. You can differentiate between a firewall setting and a, a momentary lapse in your network connection by trying again. If you're able to try again and it works, it's likely just a temporary lapse in internet connection. If it's a consistent issue, then it is likely your firewall settings and you will need to review with your IT team in order to use the tool. Okay, so now you know how to troubleshoot common technical issues by properly configuring your browser and Windows settings. Also, the most important thing to note here is that the EASI tool or our EASI document must be opened with Adobe Acrobat. If it is open with any other software, it will not work. It is only compatible with Adobe's PDF viewer. So ultimately all of our troubleshooting that we've done or the configuration that we've done to this point is to ensure that the document opens with Adobe Acrobat to ensure full compatibility and full function. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe as we will be releasing additional content regarding our digital tools in the future. Also, if you're interested in learning about our BLDA tool, which can help in the next step in your documentation process, there's a link in the description below. But with that, thank you and see you in the next one.